Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you along for a day in the life as a small business owner. I've got a lot on my plate. I'm packing orders, working on some digital products, commissions, and a super exciting unboxing. So let's get started. So first up, I'm packing some orders for my small business before I go away on a little trip to Brisbane. So I made some custom name decals. These are really popular in my store. You can choose the color that you like and write your name. So it's very cool and it's customizable. These are made by high quality and durable vinyl, which is perfect to go outside. It can last up to six years outside, which is amazing but they're also for inside. They can be removed if you'd like. Um, you can write your own name. It's really cool. I love these because I never find anything with my name since it is not a very popular name. So these are perfect for anyone. Okay, so orders are packed and now it's time to head out of the office and I'm going on a little trip. It's an hour flight, so I wanted to film some of this since I'm traveling a lot since I have a long distance partner, which I'm soon moving up there, but I travel up there very often, so I thought why not film it. And I've been working there on my laptop with my iPad and this little setup that I'm showing you guys, and I had this commission for a Christmas collection for a, another business. We also went out to the shops and I found the store that had a bunch of capybara plushies which was so so cute. I even bought one with this turtle backpack. They had a really large one but it wouldn't be able to fit in my suitcase on the way back home. It was also this really cute little keychain which had a bell to it which I wish I got but I didn't so sadly it's still there. So while I was away I was also setting up my digital Etsy page so this just has a bunch of digital downloads, custom commissions, all things like that. Once I got back home I had to make all the orders, pack them all for you guys so I ran it out of, out of our holographic stickers so I had to restock on those. So and I also made this lavender passenger princess decal which is so cool, this colour is gorgeous. Our passenger princess decals are actually our most popular decal. People love these. These were a bestseller last year. Yeah, so we have a wide variety of color choices that you can choose from. We actually just restocked on some new colors, but we've had this color for a while. It's really pretty. And yeah, how good did this turn out? Okay, so on to making the holographic stickers. So I use Cricut Design Space and I also use Averix's sticker paper. So I use their holographic vinyl sticker paper. It is so good, such high quality. Look at that holo, it's a bit hard to see on the camera, but it is really nice. The colors turn out so good with the printer. They look exactly like the glossy, just holographic. And I put a clear glossy laminate on top this makes it more durable less chance of it tearing and i just cut this sheet up to be the exact size of the a4 page i've seen a lot of people complain about how when they laminate their sticker paper onto the black lines it won't register with the cricut but Averix's has been fine for me I use the Cricut Maker 3 and I haven't had any issues like that so I always just laminate over the black lines anyway. So here's it registering the lines and these cut perfectly. I had some issues with the cutting but I bought some new blades and some new sticky mats. So this is my old sticky mat, but I did buy some new ones recently, so I won't have this issue anymore. So ignore the dust that is stuck to this. So the really exciting announcement is that I got an XP pen display tablet. So here's me unboxing it and I'll show you guys a little video of me also using it. So I got this because my iPad has been dying really quickly and it's really annoying when I get into the groove of actually illustrating and then it decides to die. That can just be really frustrating. decided to just finally get the XP pen. It was on sale 
I really wanted one of these because I'm also a graphic designer so having this directly connected to my PC means that I can use Photoshop, I can use Illustrator, I can use all these platforms where I'm not limited to the space that I have and yeah I can't wait to use this thing so here's me unboxing it actually came with a glove which was really cool. I've always seen people drawing with the gloves and I'm like oh I want to be that fancy I don't know. And it came with a lot of cords, but I ended up working it all out and connecting it. And it's like a third monitor. It's really cool. I don't have to just use it for drawing. I did get a fairly big one so that I could just keep this one for a really long time. I have a larger drawing space and more like hand movement. And here's me drawing it. So I just recorded some test footage of me trying it out and trying out the brushes. I actually downloaded a bunch of brushes by some artists. The, I couldn't find any that I liked originally since I'm used to my brushes that I have on my iPad so it's completely different but I found these brushes, I really love them, I will link them in the bio if you are interested and yeah thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be posting way more videos since I actually got my new DJI camera and yeah see you guys next time please sub and like and comment if you enjoyed this video I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube so then I can actually post regularly and, and go full-time with my business so if you did like this I would really appreciate it and see you next time